there's two different opportunities within the program. One is the, what we are calling the VPA program, which the students are auditioned for, and they give up two of their electives to be in the program. So they study ballet and dance technique, and mainly in the dance technique class right now, we currently cover modern dance, um, jazz technique, and a little bit of choreography. This is our advanced VPA ballet class. So all of these students have auditioned to be in the program. Most of them auditioned when they were freshmen. This class is made up of half freshmen and half juniors. Turning in the legs all the way forward, plie turning out, rolling up through the spine, tendu to fifth, same thing in the fifth position. And it's from this class that the students are preparing for a professional career or for college. At this school we have a lot of amazing programs like the ACE program, dual enrollment, and so being a part of those programs, you have rigorous classes all day long. You're constantly like being worked and stuff. So just being able to have like a two hour break in the middle of the day where you just get to have fun and dance, which like do what you love is just like the nicest thing ever. A pleasure, honestly, to watch the students find their own pathway, whether they use it dancing or whether they go and just use it for enjoyment or you know, later as now some of them are starting to have children and, you know, their kids starting to dance. So just it's very fun and enjoyable to watch the students find their own pathway through dance. It's the happiest place. The students are engaged. They're learning from the moment they get here. They know exactly what they need to accomplish. And we know that they got it because they exhibit that in their dance and in their movement. Preparation. Please. I've been able to watch students for several years that struggled with processing skills and to be able to watch them gain more confidence and being able to process things either in a longer period of time or just more information and it has really helped them grow in their academic classes um, as well as to I think another area where it helps a lot is in confidence. When I first came to high school I was really shy because like I don't want people to judge me that's my biggest fear is getting judged. And I thought like dance would just pretty much open me because I tried cheerleading as Megan. And it involves talking, but in dance you don't have to talk, you just dance. I've been in dance for I would say four or five years now and I've become a dancer because, I don't know, I just like to move around and <laughs> get to know myself as a person while I'm dancing and I feel it expresses a lot, so. You have to really like learn to rely on people and like your teammates and stuff, so it really like teaches you a lot of good life lessons that you, I feel like in a lot of other sports, you don't get those life lessons and you really carry them like throughout your whole entire life. Like even if you don't pursue dance, you can use everything you've learned in dance to like for whatever career you may choose. And in here, it's a different kind of trust because we have to be able to see what each other's doing out of the corner of our eyes. And we have to be able to adapt to each other's movements and move as a unit. So we have to, it's not just trust, but it's being able to like glue together as a team. It's just given me an open, it's more, given more variety. So I've kind of opened up to more things and been a little bit less picky about everything. Arms first, Demi is one. I would hope our mission is that every student has the opportunity to participate in our visual and performing art classes. But with that being said, part of our mission is if this is something you've been doing all your life, that you have the opportunity to grow within that aspect and hopefully move on and take this on a career path or to college. And use all of the, not specific ballet techniques, but the life skills and techniques that they learn in this class and transition that into the rest of their career lives because not everybody here will be dancers, but everybody here will be expected to be responsible and everybody here will be expected to comport themselves in a professional manner. It's an amazing program. It's taught me a lot. Like when I came in during ninth grade, I was really wild. And loud. I still am, but in a very more mannerable sense. And <laughs> Miss Nelson has taught me that a lot throughout the years, and I've grown to respect her for that. I think dance in itself has really taught me like a good work ethic and to really like persevere. Just because you can't ever give up in dance, you constantly have to keep working. Like just because you don't get that double turn today doesn't mean you're not going to get it tomorrow. Like you constantly have to keep working on something, and it teaches you like never give up. So I think it's really good because I know people in middle school that want to do dance, but they can't because they don't have the program. But for people who 
can't afford that or they're not like, close enough or they don't have transportation and stuff like that, I think it's a really great opportunity for people just to, or even just to like try dance. If they've never done it or if they're curious about it, they can try it here for free. The expectations of our dance instructors specifically, Mrs. Slay and Mrs. Nelson, are of the highest standard. There is nothing less than excellence and they push these young ladies and gentlemen to be the best they can be. Every week we have personal goals that we have to write down for each class we do. So we write a reflection and um, just like what our goals are for the next class and what we feel like we need to work on or any corrections that Nelson or Slay had given us during that class. It helps you like monitor like where you've gone throughout the year. You always can flip back to the beginning and see what you wrote in the beginning of the year and then you can monitor your progress and just see how far you've come. It's a really good way just to like see. And like your goals obviously change throughout the year and towards the end of the year, you wanna see if you met them or not. It allows me to push myself, not only in like the dance room, but like in school and in everything I do. It allows me to push myself and want better for myself. And that's what I want for my children when I have them. And the other dancers as well, they all, we all are very wanting to push ourselves to do the best and be the best that we possibly can. And it's just been really great, so I think I'm taking a lot of qualities and I'm a lot braver, so I think it'll help me a lot in the real world. I love dancing, I love this opportunity. I think I'd be bored in any other class for like two periods a day, so I really love this class. I'm just so thankful that I have the opportunity to work with two great teachers who are also my mentors. Fondue 45 in second, Fondue 90 on Demi Point.